Hi everyone, David here with your lawn care update. Uh, here we are early April and it is uh, starting mosquito season. So what we would like to do today is just kind of take a walk around uh, one of our customers' homes. It's been real nice to let us uh, film here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of show you some of the areas that we look for when we're treating for mosquitoes to make sure that you're not having any issues. Um, being able to easily identify areas or potential areas that mosquitoes can either breed or where they like to hang out can help you protect your family from getting bit by mosquitoes. Obviously the first area that we're gonna to wanna to look at as we're doing our treatments is any shrubbery anywhere in the lawn, any kind of shrubbery or plants, those are prime areas for mosquitoes to nest and hide as well as any shaded areas. So all around in the porch area, the eaves of the porch area as well, around the doors, um, just make sure we treat this whole entire area as well. So as we continue to kind of walk this way, you can see we got quite a bit of shrubbery in different uh, areas as well. Uh, one key thing also that I want to kind of show you is wherever you have sprinklers or water faucets, those are, could be areas where you have water. Um, we actually noticed um, at the back of this house that we had uh, a leaking faucet, and we'll show that here in a minute but leaking faucets where you have just some water puddled up is a potential area where mosquitoes can be breeding. It only takes about your standard bottle cap amount of water for mosquitoes to have an area to lay their eggs and start uh, reproducing. So keep that in mind, it does not take very much standing water at all. Um, something that you can do as a homeowner is they make what they call, we call them dunks. They're little mosquito biscuits and you can throw them in a area that has some standing water and that will stop mosquitoes from breeding in that area as well. So we're gonna, gonna make sure we keep an eye out on any areas where there's potential standing water, like right here in the front. You can see there's a nice little kind of rock um, bed here right up against the house to kind of help water flow away from the home, but that could be an area where some water could get stuck and then you would have mosquitoes starting to breed there. So another area that you'll most often see mosquitoes is anywhere where there's nice tight corners where it's dark or it's shaded all day. Mosquitoes typically don't like to be out in the sun when it's hot. Um, they usually like to stay where it's nice and uh, cool when it's warm out. So shaded areas like this, fences like this, as well. Those are key areas that we like to treat. Um, here you can see where our member has a uh, drainage right here. Um, so once again, this is another area that we'll keep a close eye on. We want to make sure that we uh, treat this area as well to just keep any kind of mosquitoes from uh, breeding in this area or from amassing in this area as well. But right here in this corner, this is another perfect example. So right here, um, right around AC units or dark corners again, just like we showed on the other side of the fence there, this is another prime location where you'll find a lot of mosquitoes resting. And if you notice right here, it's right by their back patio. So um, they could be out here grilling, cooking, doing something like that. And the mosquitoes are literally hiding right here. And as soon as you come out here to cook or grill, here they come and they're gonna start biting you. So we would treat the entire patio area as well treat the overhead, the awning as well, and take care of that. And as we continue to walk around over here, we'll also notice that faucet I was telling you about a minute ago. So right here, if you can get a, if you can see right here, there's some standing water right here in this location because we have a dripping faucet from the hose. That's something that we want to be aware of. We would treat that area as well. Um, but we would also make a recommendation to our customer here to uh, try to get that faucet fixed, either replace it or, or uh, put a new faucet on there. That way they don't have this, this uh, constant drip. Here, a nice little sitting area that's nice and shaded. It's great when you're trying to escape the summer heat, but once again, a perfect place for mosquitoes to hide underneath those chairs. So we would pull the chairs out. We'd spray all along the side of the house here uh, along that nice flagstone that they have right there just to kind of eliminate some areas where mosquitoes may harbor. So the key things to keep in mind is mosquitoes are gonna harbor in shady areas. They're also going to want to uh, harbor nearby entryways because that's where their next meal would come from, from you, unfortunately. And as well as any areas of standing water, we wanna make sure that we're uh, treating those areas as well. Things that you can do as a homeowner is just make sure that you are removing any areas, any puddles or things that hold standing water. 
uh, as an example, if you have any children's toys or buckets or things like that in the yard that are holding water in it, try to either store those upside down or remove the water from them to remove potential breeding areas, leaking faucets, uh, do your best that you can to take care of those and make sure that they are no longer dripping or creating uh, little puddles of water, as well as making sure that you keep your uh, bushes and things like that trimmed up appropriately so there's less areas for them to hide. All right, so hopefully this little walk around is giving you some insight on some of the areas that we're looking at when we take care of mosquitoes and giving you some tips on what you can do to prevent mosquitoes at your home. Of course, mosquitoes, they are tenacious uh, little creatures and they are not fun to have to deal with. So if you're having trouble with mosquitoes, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We're more than happy to set you up on our mosquito program. We treat every 30 days um, to keep them suppressed and lower the amount of mosquitoes that you will see on your property. All right, once again, my name is David with uh, Weed Extinguishers, and I want to thank you for joining us with this uh, lawn care update. If you have any other questions, give us a call, let us know, and we look forward to seeing you on our next update. Have a great day.